are your plans for today, Elena? Uh, I only have two classes before lunch. Then I'm free all afternoon. Oh, you are lucky. Mm -hmm. Don't you like your job? <laughs> like it? I adore it. <laughs> Mr. James says I'm his best sales assistant. And what will you do with your afternoon? There's a, a fantastic Kubrick festival on. 2001 A Space Odyssey is playing at the Odeon Multiplex. Where is the Odeon? It's on uh, Tottenham Court Road. That's a brilliant film. I adore Roddy McDowell. You mean Malcolm McDowell. And he's not in 2001. The star is Keir Dulley. Exactly! He's such a doll. What kind of movie is it? It's uh, science fiction. Uh, you must see it. Do you know what time the shows are? Uh, no, but we can look in the paper. Mm. There are shows at uh, 1.35, mm. 3.45, and 5.55. Is it a long film? It runs uh, 160 minutes. Yes, mm. nearly three hours. What time do you finish class? At 12.30. Well, you could make the show at 1.35. Yes, but I need to go to the bank today, too. Mm. I have my first paycheck. Ah, you need to cash your check. Yes, uh, I want to send some money home, too. It's my little brother's birthday next week. Well, you should be able to make the banks before they close at 5. Just go to the nearest bank, to the cinema. Okay. And uh, don't forget to bring your passport. You'll need it for identification you'll need to fill in a money transfer. Mm -hmm. Are you taking Elena to the movies? Um, no, Agatha. I'm studying for my final exam. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. I will. Yes, enjoy your movie. I'm also going to send some money home. I got my first paycheck yesterday. Oh, wonderful! <laughs> What's the exchange rate for pounds to... pesos? Uh, Spain has euro currency. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> How silly of me. Yes. Have a good day. Thanks. Yes, Mr. Charles, this is Elena Fuentes. Yes, the teacup. Is it ready? Okay. I'll pick it up in the afternoon. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. Yesterday, I saw a wonderful film with one of my favorite actors. What about you? Who is your favorite actor? Hmm, it's always a good idea to watch films in English. You can learn a lot. Well, today we are going to talk about that too. Ready? First, we are going to review comparatives and superlatives. Big, bigger, the biggest and examine a few irregular adjectives. After that, we will talk about actors and actresses. Finally, we will talk about types of films. Hmm, quite interesting, don't you think? In this episode, Victor said to Elena, you can go to the nearest bank. So, let's begin with superlatives and comparatives. Do you remember them? Near, nearer, the nearest. You can say, excuse me, where is the nearest bank? Or, where is the nearest cinema? The nearest is the superlative of near, while nearer is the comparative. For example, the Czech cinema is nearer than the Odeon cinema. Notice that when you use the comparative, you have to add then. Agatha said, Mr. James says I'm his best sales assistant. Best is the superlative of good, 
which is an irregular adjective. So we have good, better, the best, and bad, worse, the worst. Since Victor and Elena talk about films in this episode, let's see some related examples. The best film of all. The worst film of all. The new version is better than the old version. The new version is worse than the old one. When you talk about films, you usually mention actors and actresses too. That actress is beautiful. The main actor is good looking. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Good looking, better looking, the best looking. We generally use beautiful for women. We use good looking for men and women. Handsome in English is normally used for men and less often for women. To conclude our lesson, let's talk about different types of films. Here are some of them. Costume drama, science fiction, action movie, thriller, comedy, musical, romance. I love a good romance. And you? Oh, I'm sorry, but we've run out of time. So I'll say goodbye for today. See you at the cinema, okay? There is a big problem. What's wrong? That teacup. Yes? That horrible, ugly tea set. But I, uh... Betty gave it to me as a birthday present. I hate that tea set. You do? I had hoped it was disappearing. Yesterday, one of the cups was missing. Yes? And now, today, the teacup is back! <laughs> Elena, sweetie, are you okay? Oh, uh, the bathroom. What about the bathroom? There's a lot of water on the floor. Hi. Hi. Are you all right? I have a headache and a stomachache. <clears throat> oh, you poor girl. Maybe you have the flu. Victor! What did you ask Elena? Did she say no? <laughs> Stop it, Aggie. Elena isn't well. What's wrong? Oh, my poor darling. You feel hot. She has a slight temperature. And she says she has stomach aches, too. She needs to lie down. Uh, maybe I'll go to the chemist's and uh, get something for her headache. Yes, good idea. Okay. And when you get back, you can fix the bathroom? What's the matter with the bathroom? There's a leak under the sink. A big leak. Oh, no. I turned off the water. Okay, I'll be back soon. I'll make some tea. A Agatha. Yes? Betty's ugly teacup is back. I know. It's strange, isn't it? Hi, how are you today? I'm sure you're making progress in English. Oh, you aren't feeling well. No problem. Today we are going to talk about that too. Today we are going to start with compound nouns, such as lipstick. After that, we'll talk about not feeling well and where to buy medicines. I have a cough. <coughs> I must go to the pharmacy. We are also going to learn the names of some parts of the body. Head, hand, ear. Finally, we'll see how to get advice and how to follow directions for taking medicine. For your cough, take one tablet three times a day. In the sitcom, Agatha said to Victor, you can fix the bathroom. 
Bathroom is a compound noun. Can you guess what compound nouns are? They are nouns that are formed by putting two words together. Can you think of other compound nouns related to the bathroom? Let's see them together. Toothbrush, toothpaste, hairbrush, lipstick. When you aren't feeling well, like Elena, you may have mm, a headache, mm, or a, a toothache, Oof. or an earache, or a, a stomach ache, which are other compound nouns. Other common illnesses include a sore throat, a flu, a cough. <coughs> Victor says, maybe I'll go to the chemist and get something for her headache. When you are sick, you can go to the chemist or the pharmacy to buy medicines or medications. You can say, I'm not feeling well or I am sick and I have a, a temperature. My foot hurts, my leg hurts, and so on. But let's have a quick look at some parts of the body. Okay. Head, throat, ear, tooth, Stomach, leg, knee, ankle, foot. When you go to the pharmacist in the US or chemists in England, you might ask for advice. What do you recommend? Have you got something for a headache? Or have you got something for the flu? When you're taking medicine, it's important to be able to understand the directions. For example, one tablet, once, twice, or three times a day. One tablet every four or six hours. One tablet after meals, or before going to bed, and so on. Okay, our lesson is over. Hmm. You seem better. It seems that studying English is good for you. <laughs> Bye, and see you soon. Victor and Elena. Victor and Lala. Malika, Amira. Falenka, Michao. Katyushka. How are you feeling today? Oh, much better, thank you. I'm so glad. Um, who are these girls? Which girls, Elena? The girls in the book. Oh, them. Girls we know. Hmm. She's a good friend of mine. Her name is Lala. Lala. Yes. You didn't hear about Lala? She's Turkish. No, I don't think so. Lala stayed with us last year for a couple of months. And where is Lala now? Lala's back in Turkey. She has a nice little flat in the center of Ankara. Oh, and she's Malika. She's Swedish. Oh, and what does Malika do? Malika is an airline hostess now. Lovely girl. She has gorgeous blonde hair and the bluest eyes. Oh. The bathroom sink is okay for now, but we really should call a plumber. That's Agatha's almost album. Sorry? Agatha invites foreign students to stay here and then tries to marry them off to me. 
It's her biggest project. Right, Aggie? Well, it would be nice. Don't worry, Alina. I promise you they're all still living. Of course. Of course they are. Hi, here I am. What? You want to learn some more English? Good, that's what I'm here for. Today we will talk about the present continuous tense once again. Sorry, I can't talk to you now. I'm teaching. <laughs> After that, we'll talk about friends, our friends, and other people's friends. Finally, we'll learn how to say dates. I was born in July 1987. That isn't true. Let's start with the present continuous tense. A few lessons ago, we said it is used to describe something that's taking place right now, in this moment. What is Elena doing? She's looking at some photos. In this episode, Agatha asks Elena, how are you feeling today? And Elena answers, much better, thank you. How are you feeling today? Well, I hope you are feeling wonderful. Have a look at these sentences. My brother is working in Japan. My brother works in Japan. Using the present continuous, I mean to say my brother is working in Japan in this period, but he doesn't normally work there. Have another look. My son is living with us. My son lives with us. With the first sentence, I'm telling you that at the moment, my son is living with us. But normally, he lives somewhere else. Remember that to convey habitual actions or something which doesn't change for a long period, we use the present simple. I always get up at 6.30, quite early actually. Victor and Agatha live in London. Now, I'm sure you have a lot of friends, right? Let's talk about them. Do you know Lala? Yes, I know her, or yes, I do, or no, I don't. What do you answer if I ask you, do you know Victor? Perfect. Yes, I know him. Yes, I do. Of course I know him, or no, I don't know him. Can you think of another useful question that you could ask about someone? <laughs> You're really making progress. What does he do? He's a student. Or, what does she do? She's an airline hostess. When you want to know someone's name, you might ask, Would you introduce me? This is my friend Lala. She's from Turkey. Agatha says, she has gorgeous blonde hair and the bluest eyes. It's useful to know how to describe people. We've already talked about people's physical appearance, but you can also say something about their personality. For example, Victor is a fascinating man. Agatha is funny. Elena is shy. Let's conclude our lesson by practicing some dates. For example, Lala arrived on March the 15th, 2008, and left on September the 10th. You can also say March 15th, 2008, and September 10th. Lala was born in 1975. Let me congratulate you on the progress you're making in English. I think that's enough for today. See you soon.